God bless you. God bless you. Anywhere you are, you want real salvation. Without this salvation, we cannot get to heaven. Without this salvation, we'll perish forever and ever. But, you see, I've heard the word, and the word is the word of Christ. And I want the forgiveness and the freedom and the salvation and the righteousness now that he will give to you as a gift from heaven. You rest up behind, you stand up, and while you are standing there, tell the Lord, I'm sorry for the sins I've committed. I'm sorry for that drunkenness. I'm sorry for the smoking. I'm sorry for the fighting. I'm sorry for the adultery. I'm sorry for the fornication. I'm sorry for those evil things I have done. I'm sorry for even luring other people away from righteousness to righteousness. I'm sorry for the bad influence of my life. Keep on standing. Tell the Lord and tell him, as you give me the grace and the salvation, I will not go back into them anymore. And the Lord will take you for your word. And you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll pray with you now. Keep on standing. Keep on raising the hand. And keep your heart for Christ. You have now come to Christ. And you don't want to go back to sin or Satan or darkness or evil anymore. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you have given us the word. You said, come out from among them, and I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and my daughters, said the Lord. Fulfill your word in every heart, every life here tonight, and online and everywhere, in Jesus' name. Forgive all those sins they have confessed and forsaken. Give them, Lord, eternal life. Give them salvation. Give them righteousness. And give them the grace to go now and sin no more. Thank you, Lord. Let the joy of salvation fill their heart. We believe you have answered. We believe you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Please keep on standing our counselors are there. They'll, you know, have some details from you as they speak to you. Listen and do watch and give them the information they are asking. We'll call on our state uh, pastor, state of Osea, uh, to come and lead us now before we we'll come back to pray for the sick. Amen. If you are happy, let me hear you. Amen. This is a wonderful thing that has happened. That the Lord has seen your faith and forgiven your sin. So since you are free and you are happy, please give the counselors correct details. Your name, full name, your phone number, the address that can be used to locate you. The essence is to help you stand follow you up, ensure that the miracle of salvation you received will remain with you. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, please visit the link and fill out the form so we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television and just gave your life to Christ, please send your name, phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number plus Two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. I take it again. Plus two three four nine one 
0544-449263. And for those who have given their life to Christ this evening, there will be a special meeting called Lunch Hour with Jesus. Tomorrow, by 3 p.m., at the big tent behind this classroom block. This classroom by my right, behind it, there's a big tent. That's where the lunch hour with Jesus will take place. So if you have given your life to Christ, please, tomorrow, three, come. The Lord will be waiting for you to bless your soul. Then, there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their life to Christ on Sunday, next, the first coming Sunday. And the, the program will be at the region headquarters. Our whole region headquarters is 11 plus 11 stroke 12 at Ruby Street off Deco Road, Warri, Delta State. So all the other locations, please ensure that you are there to be blessed by God. Sunday 2nd will be the day for the program. That's Sunday 1st, please. 1st September will be the day for the program. So don't miss it. On 1st September, Sunday, by 3 p.m., we also give you more details about it. The pastor is delighted that you have just joined, you have given your life to Christ, and he wants you to grow in faith. Then the Alpha Location Banquet, like I said, will be on Sunday, 1st September, at Deeper Life Bible Church. It plots 11 stroke 12 at the Ruby Street, Worry, Delta State, time 3 p.m. But for those online, more details will be given to you. Counselors, make sure you get all the details. Be thorough while collecting the data. Let there be no mistake. And the telephone number should be 11 digit. Write in capital letters so that it will be legible for us to use the decision card to help them. Once we are through, you go to another person. If you have not been attended to, no counselor has come to you, please raise your hand and wave your hand and tell them that you are waiting for them to come and attend to you. The language class. The overflow, the other side. Let's make sure that the counselors are there to assist them. So, counselors, once you are through, you signify. Let me repeat what I said. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect, below your player. Please visit the link and fill out the form so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ now, Please send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this WhatsApp number, plus 234-91544-9263. Remember, there will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus, 
for all those who gave their life to Christ tomorrow by 3 p.m. And we say the lunch hour will take place after this classroom by my right. There's a big tent behind the classroom. That's where the lunch hour will take place. And then there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their life to Christ on Sunday. The special banquet will take place on Sunday, 1st September. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Then for the Alpha location, Believers' Banquet on Sunday, 1st September, will take place at Deeper Life Bible Church, plot 11 stroke 12 at Ruby Street, off Deco Road, worry, and then all the region headquarters across the state and all the nations. Time, 5, 3 p.m. Time, 3 p.m. Cancel us, please. If you are true, can you indicate? To my left, if Castellos, you are true, indicate. Center, and to my right, we are waiting for you. Now, while the castle is going on, those who are Christians, you, you are giving your life to Christ before, this is the time for you to bow your head and be thanking God for what he has done in the life of these people. In a family, once a new baby comes, everybody will rejoice. You praise God for what God has done. And then also pray for yourself that the Lord will not pass you by. The man of God has said, whatever you came in here with will not go back with you. He has assured you that there is miracle for everybody. So pray for yourself. If you have been canceled, after the canceling, please join us and pray and say, God, I need double miracle. I've got one, salvation. I need another one, healing, deliverance, whatever. The Lord will not pass you by. While we are waiting for the counselors to tidy up, counselors, if you are true, please signify. I'm waiting for your signal. To my right, center, and to my left. Cancel us if you are true, please indicate. Let's know. Others are praying. This is not the time to look around. This is the time for you to talk to God and say, Lord, I came here to be touched by you, to be visited by you, to be blessed by you. And very soon, the man of God will come. You know, when there is a criminal, and that criminal is invasive, difficult to arrest, the government will send DSS men to go and fish that person out. And they know how to do it. DSS will go and get that person arrested. Permit me to tell you this night, the man of God will offer DSS prayer. And that DSS prayer will arrest whatever is troubling you in the name of sickness, disease, affliction, witches, wizard, powers of darkness. The DSS prayer will arrest them. DSS prayer is the direct, short, and simple prayer the man of God will offer tonight. And everything that has been troubling you will be arrested. Criminals, if they don't evade the arrest of DSS, SS, no sickness, no disease, no affliction will evade the DSS prayer that will be offered here tonight. That prayer will arrest that situation and grant you your heart desires. Cancel us, please. If you are true, can I see you? Indicate. Thank you. God bless you. Center here, I've seen the flag. Can I look at it the, 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 to my left? If you are true, please indicate. At the back, if you are true, indicate. 
To my right, if you are true, indicate. It's only the center that I've seen. To my left, please. If you are true. Thank you. At the back, I can see it. Sorry, to my right. If you are true, cancel us. Indicate. In front here, they are true. To my left at the back, they are true. To my left in the front, I'm waiting for your signal. And then to my right, I'm waiting for your signal. If you are true, please indicate. Thank you. I've seen it at the back. Then at the far back, if you are true, please indicate. Okay, thank you. I've seen it at the far back. Now is the time. The man of God is already standing to offer the DSS prayer. Let's stand and receive our DSS prayer. Amen. Your miracle, your healing, your deliverance is getting to you there right now. You will not go back home empty-handed. I believe. I believe. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge at the mention of the name of Jesus immediately, straightway, instantaneously, sickness will get away from you. We're ready now. Raise up the hand. Lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in Jesus' name, you are a prayer answering God. You answer prayer for everyone, young and old, man and woman, here at the Alpha location, there at a distance. Lord, stretch forth your hand. Heal your people in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deliver the oppressed. Break every yoke. Take all the infirmity away. Take all their sicknesses away. I pray, Lord, to my right, to my left, to the back, everywhere. Touch everyone miraculously. Blind eyes be opened. Deaf ears begin to hear. Dumb tongues be loosed. Withered hand be made straight. Short leg grow out. Paralysis get out from everyone. And all the waist pain and the back pain, take everything away. Lord, I pray that whatever challenge anyone has brought, long-standing problem, I pray that right here at this time, you manifest your power so great that you deliver everyone in Jesus' name. Put testimony in every mouth that what they were not able to do before, now that they are healed, now that they are delivered, they will be able to do it in Jesus' name. Let there be a performance right now. Manifestation of your miracle power in everyone right now. Confirmation. Confirmation. You are healed. You are delivered. The Lord has set you free. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It is done. Check up yourself. You find the sickness that was there before is no more there. It's gone. Praise the Lord. You can do better. You can do better. If you know, you know, you know, you know, the Lord has touched you. The Lord has healed you. Put your hand together. The man of God declared you are healed. The man of God said you are set free. The man of God said you are delivered. Where are you? The Lord has done it for you. Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. Put your hand together for Jesus. Now, if you are sure the Lord has done it for you, 
you will be the first testifier. Who will be the first testifier? You have seen your own. You have seen your own. If you are the person, you shout a great hallelujah, and you start coming to my, my right, left here. The counselors will meet you. Where is the person? The first testifier. You go to a miracle. If you are sitting down, stand from the wheelchair. The man of God said you are healed. Your legs have received strength. Stand out. Then if you are deaf and dumb, talk. Go to them and start talking to them. They will hear. Those who are deaf, they will hear. Those who are dumb, they will talk. Those who are blind, show them sign. You will see, they will see. Whatever is the ailment, tonight you are free. Tonight you are free. Tonight you are free. The power of God will be released. If you are the first person that will receive your own, can I hear you shout a great hallelujah? Now, if something has happened, start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Let's see you. Anywhere you are, you just praise the Lord and then start coming out. Come out from the wheelchair. You are healed. Drop the, 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 the crutches. You are healed. Who is the first testifier? Let's hear you, you shout and start coming out. The power of God will be released. If you know God that touched you, you shout and you start coming out. To my left, start coming out. Go to where the counselors are. We want to hear testimonies. Where are you? Check up, check up, check up. Once you discover what God has done, you come out. Why we are praising God for what he has done, the testimony will be filing in. If you are the first person that I have received, please come out. Come to the left-hand side. To my left, you will see the counselors there. They will allow you to come and share your testimony. All of us, we're going to rise up because God has done something. And we're going to worship him. We're going to praise him. And as we are doing that, the power of God will be moving and setting people free. And you will get your miracle. So please, orchestra, lead us into worship now. And then as you check and see your miracle, please come out. Please come out. Some have started coming out already. Put your hand together for Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus.
I said, Amen. Amen. Jesus is doing wonders. And tonight, you will hear the wonders. So we can start listening. If the online is ready now, give us testimony of what is going on online. Because this crusade is being beamed live to the whole world. Others are getting miracle. You will not be left behind. So if the online is ready now, let them give us miracle testimonies from the online location. Indeed, God is doing great things as there are many results of the possibilities of faith in Christ. As we bring in these testimonies from online of how God transformed lives of people and they received their testimonies. All the way from Ghana, we bring you this miraculous testimony of how God um, healed this boy who had suffered from leg pain and was bedridden for days during the last edition of GCK. The father said, during the program, when the man of God was praying, he laid his hand on himself in proxy to his son. After the prayer of the man of God, on Sunday evening, he said, the son was made whole, completely healed. Praise the Lord. If you want to clap, clap. If you get salvation, that's the first miracle. We want to hear your salvation experience. So come out and share your testimony. If you online, if you have another testimony, please go on. Why the other location arrange for the testifier to come out? Why I can give us one more song to praise God while we are waiting for Coming them. Coming from the DCLN YouTube channel, Maywa Abiyayo testified, I thank God for what he has done for me, healing me from pain in my ear and my mouth. Thank God. This is coming live from DCM YouTube channel, Can the Love Reach? I was feeling pains whenever I urinate, but after the prayers, I went to urinate and I did not feel any pains again. Praise God. From the DCM YouTube channel, Elias Emmanuel testifies, Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Elias Emmanuel from Lagos, Nigeria. I am healed from a swollen leg. For a year now, it was on the third day of the GCK, the swollen leg disappeared. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the DCLM YouTube channel, Victor says, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise God. I am Victor from Nigeria. Just got healed from chronic protracted chest pain that made breathing difficult before now. I return all the glory to God. Praise God. Indeed, God is doing great things as uh, sicknesses and challenges are rolling away. Also from GCLM YouTube channel, Kingdom is testifying of how God healed him from lungs, chest, and heart type, um, uh, pain. And he also said, growth has disappeared. Praise the Lord. This dance is indeed no barrier with the Lord. This is coming from DCM YouTube channel. I beyond Esther Reese. Praise the Lord. I have been healed. I woke up to pains on the right side of my chest. While the message was going on, I received my healing. Glory be to God. Freeman Wonso from the DCLN YouTube channel says, My daughter is healed of severe to pain after the prayers of the man of God. Praise God. More testimonies from the GS Facebook page. Dorcas says, Praise God, I am healed from swelling on one part of my breast. Praise the Lord. Beauty says, wrote from United Kingdom, I thank God for healing me tonight. I have a swollen leg. After the last amen, I received my miracle. Now I am made whole. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, the devil has lost again. This is coming from Tennessee, United States. From, from Daniel Afash. After the final amen, I was healed of migraine instantly. Praise the Lord. Coming in from United Kingdom, Ruth wrote, Glory be to God. I got healed. Of four years on biblical I'm near, I am healed. Glory be to God. From the Amen. United Kingdom. 
from the United Kingdom, Adu, testifies, the Lord has delivered me from arthritis that has been afflicting me since 2010. Now I am free. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that the power of God is freeing people, sicknesses, and diseases. As we return to the Alpha location, we will bring you other striking testimonies from online. Praise the Lord. If you're happy for what God is doing, let me hear you shout the loudest hallelujah. Now let's start listening to the testimony from the Alpha location. What happened this night? Please, the first testifier. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done wonderful things in our midst tonight. I present to you right here, Bro Mabimiro John. He has a great testimony. Let's listen to him. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. By the grace of God, I am Brother Madamedo John. I've given my life to Jesus Christ. Something happened to me January last year. There was crisis in my community. And because of the crisis, I became very nervous. And I ran upstairs to one of the apartments upstairs. And by virtue of the crisis and because I was nervous, as I was walking down towards the stairway, the stairway, that is staircase, it was all dark. I didn't know when I stepped into the air, into the air, because I didn't know where the staircase was any longer. I stepped into the air, and I fell down from the upstairs to the ground floor. And this right leg completely got destroyed. But by the grace of God, because I am serving the God of Papa Kumoye, God restored the leg. And today, I can walk. I can walk. God is great. Praise the Lord. The Lord has really done wonderful things for our brother. No healing fracture has been joined together again. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Is that the way you can clap? Praise the Lord. This is Destiny Okiki. He has a testimony also. What God did just right here now. Let's hear him. Praise the Lord, church. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Destiny. For the past one year now, I've been having this uh, brain failure. My green. I've been so I've been into so many hospitals, but by the grace of God, even when I was even when I was sitting there, I was having this pain on my head, severe pain, this severe pain on my head. I was praying seriously when our our pastor in the Lord, Pastor Dobreyev Kumuye, was praying for us. I was trusting God that He will do it now. And as soon as possible, immediately the last amen, I receive my healing immediately. Praise the, the Lord. The pain was silent. I couldn't feel anything right my now. My great okay. vanish. I where I can. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand together for Jesus. That's how your own problem will vanish tonight. I say vanish. Everybody say vanish. vanish. The next testifier, please. Grace Iboyi also have a testimony to share with us. Praise the Lord. GCK is a program for me. I've been living this program for years now. And I got married some years back. And I've been believing God for the fruits of the womb. All I've done, I've tasted, I've done all the medical, all I could do. I still believe God that God is going to do something. And I remember the GCK program. 
I decided to attend this GCK program last year when Daddy came to GCK at uh, Asaba. I was at the Alpha location at Jakpa Road. I prayed earnestly. I said, God, you that did it before, because I had a, a woman who testified the same testimony that I'm testifying today. I said, God, you are going to do it for me. I'm not going any other place. And as the prayer began, our daddy in the law just mentioned my case. I said, God, thank you. You have done it for me. And since then, I said, God, I'm coming to share my testimony. Even if not when, GCK is, when GS is around, I will share it at my other location anywhere I am. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy when I heard that daddy is coming to worry precisely where I am. Oh, God, I'm so grateful. So I said today I'm sharing my testimony. I'm here with my baby. Praise the Lord. God of wonder, I've done it again. Primary infertility vanished. Everybody say vanish. If you're happy, we're going to stand again and join the calling stars to praise God. Let's rejoice for what God is doing. Taking away sorrow from his people. <laughs> I present also Matthew Gidado, a 24-year-old young man. He has a testimony of what God did right here tonight. Praise the Lord. Our God is master of masters. I came here this evening. First of all, I have two testimonies to share. My name is Matthew Gidado. I have two testimonies to share. My first testimony happened when our GS was in uh, Abuja in September, Divine Solution. That, way, that was when, when my first testimony, I have my first testimony. My second testimony happened right here in this evening. I came here this evening with serious headache, with waist pain, with kata. I cannot even breathe well. I cannot even walk well. I'm just bearing it to work and to even a sedan, serious pain. So after the prayer of the man of God this evening, the kata disappeared, the headache no more, the waist pain no more. Church, join me and praise the Lord. My second testimony, what the Lord did for me, I want to start it from the beginning so that you will understand, but I will make it short, I will not make it long. From the beginning of my life, I did not take school serious. I did not take my academic serious. So I did not go to school well. So as I, I did not take school serious, my parents had decided to take me to someone to go and learn work. So as I start learning that work, it is that time that I'm learning work that I encounter Christ. In the year of 2020, I encounter Christ, I give my life to Christ. After I give my life to Christ, and I begin to have the desire to read Bible on my own, to read my Bible on my own, because I don't want to be only listening to pastor. I want to read my Bible at home. I want to read it by myself to know what God is saying, to know God by myself. So I was planning that since I, I, don't, I did not go to school earlier, after I learn my work finish, I will go to adult school. If it is a part time, I will do it so that I can know how to read. I want to read my Bible. So. Everybody is aware of the plan. Everybody that is around of me. But my pastor encouraged me, say that even before then, God can still do a miracle. And the most important thing that increased my faith, my pastor showed me one lady in our church. He said, see that woman. That woman could not read before. 
but God taught her. Now she can read. She did not go to school. She did not, not teach her, teach her. But now she can read. And God did it for her. God will do it for me if I place my trust in him. My pastor encouraged me with prayer. We have been praying. And it come to pass as your own will come to pass as well. That's when our GS was in Abuja 2021. My brethren, it happened there. God do it. You know what happened? After the ministry, the minister, the ministry our GS prayed for us. Since I was coming to Deeper Life, any church I go, I always see this small banner in our altar. That banner, they write some things, put. And I've been struggling to know what is written on that banner. So after the prayer of the man of God that night, the first place my eye go, it is that banner. And that big letter on that banner, I pronounce that word without nobody told me. Faith in the middle of the banner. Church, join me and praise God. There is nothing God cannot do. If you are here and you have anything, whatever, place your trust in God. People may be telling you that, uh, sister, brother, this thing is practical, nah? this thing is practical. Do it this way and you will get what you want. Place your trust in God. God can see do a miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Only God can do what no man can do. Instantaneous literacy. Without going to any school, the Lord is wonderful. Greater favor. The next testifier, please. The next testifier is Miss Greater Favor. She has a testimony of what God did this night. Praise the Lord. My name is Greater Favor. I'm here to testify what the Lord did for Be me loud, this loud, night. Loud, loud, loud. Yes, I've been having three, uh, three months, feeling three, um, back pain for the past three months. Pain that very severe pain. I always cry to my mom that my back is paining me. But tonight, to God the glory, it's gone. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Low back pain of three months gone. The next testifier. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus showed himself for me this evening. And Sister Evelyn Ejetau, I've received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I've been having this attack in my right leg. My neighbor is here. She'll be a witness. Since December, since December last year, it was so severe. I've been taking medication. Suddenly, it just came. Suddenly, from nowhere. When I came back from Port Harcourt, after I was praying, prophesied to the leg, prophesied it to subside, it to subside. I don't know what is this. They keep giving medication. It's arthritis. It's uh, uh, um, um, rheumatism. I can't sew it. I told my other sister in Abuja, I came back. I told her, see, see, she said, I should run to the hospital. That is how she suffered. See, now she's even in the hospital. This and that. I told her my case is different. The pain was so severe because where I stay is upstairs. I used to climb to come. It's not easy. Sometimes it starts affecting this leg. But I will be prophesying and be praying as a child. Go every morning I will anoint it with my anointing oil by faith in Christ. And I'll be speaking to the leg, take, praying the word of God for healing. So today now, when we came here, the preaching, the man of God that's finished, when he was preaching, I was like praying for me, a, a lot of many things I did. So, but I didn't even care for the, for the leg on. But after, when he was praying, he, before I start prayer, he said, put your hand in where it's pain. I just put my leg and hand in general. I want to do the general issue I have. Should go through my head. A suddenly one might say, put your, that hand on the leg. I put it on the leg and, and he finished praying. I say, amen. So we just stood up. I called my neighbor. I didn't even check. We just see yeah, they want to give testimony. I was going. I told my neighbor, let's go now. That crowd is too much so that we can get home quick. She, but the way she was reluctant, she wanted to hear the testimony. I said, okay, it's like you want to hear testimony. Me I turned back. I just come back, want to see it. I just felt something in my leg. I just noticed no pain. I didn't feel pain. I was like, Praise ah, the no Lord. pain in my leg. But she said, I said, she said I should come and give testimony. But Amen. I was like, I can't come. I said, no, this testimony is worth giving God. Because my mother, everybody, my mother has massaged it. Everybody, different hand have touched the leg. Everything, different band Praise have used it. Praise the Lord. But now Jesus has taken the glory. And it will never return in Jesus' name. You can name. see her. 
exercising her faith, testing it, incapacitating, chronic osteoarthritis gone. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Let's rise again and sing and worship God. She got salvation. She got double. Got salvation and got her healing. Tonight is your night. Let's praise God. We go online before we come back to the Alpha location. Online, if you have some testimonies, please go on. Indeed, God is doing great things as we are still experiencing the possibilities of faith in Christ Jesus. As we bring you these testimonies from online. Win Sam from Abuja, Nigeria, testifies. I want to thank God for healing me and drying up a painful boil at my neck. And I am completely healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is coming from Onwe Okuchuku from Lagos, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. I used to have back pain and chest pain. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, I am perfectly well and the pains has disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Modupe is testifying of the goodness of God in her life. As she has been healed from severe back pain that has lasted for five months. Praise God. I'm Hallelujah. Free. Praise God. Grace from Ghana. Phantom pregnancy which has caused infertility in me for two years has vanished after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Also coming in from Ghana, Faustina testifies, Praise be to God for healing me from ulcer, severe headache, backache, hepatitis B, and abdominal pain after the prayer of the man of God during the last audition of GCK. I am totally free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, the possibilities of faith in Christ is endless. As we bring you more testimonies online, we we'll return to the Alpha location for further testimonies. Thank you. The death testifier, please, from the Alpha location. Uh, the sister standing by me is Peace Oroje. She has a wonderful testimony. Let's hear her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, my name is Peace Oroje. I want to testify of what the Lord has done for me. I have two testimonies to give this night. First of all, I usually used to have this stomach pain that used to come once in a while. And once it comes, I'm not able to do anything. I cannot talk. And for me to walk would be a problem. So I have to sit down. The, the stomach will be like as if. And the stomach pain will be like as if something wants to cut from my tummy. If I say, let me walk now, I'll be afraid that maybe some kind of vital organs in my body will be cut. So I used to just sit down until it stop. And I don't even know where the, when the miracle happened, but I used to commit it in GCK that let Jesus heal me, and I used to always pray, Jesus, please heal me. And now, I don't even know when the problem stopped, but I know that I have been totally, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my second testimony is this. When I was, about three years back, I fainted, and from then to last month, I used to feel dizziness and weakness occasionally. Then I cannot stand for like, if the dizziness just starts, I cannot stand for like one minute. It just come suddenly, like I cannot stand. Uh, let me say, at least I can just exceed two minutes, but that is just that. Then after the prayer of the man of early in um, Ghana crusade, I got my healing. Praise the Lord! 
Hallelujah. No more weakness, no dizziness. Dizziness, weakness, abdominal pain, all gone. The next testifier. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Lucky Richards. I came to appreciate God for what he has done this night. During the prayer, when the pastor was praying, I received my healing from my broken leg. I had an accident. I couldn't walk after the accident, and my leg was gone. But it was difficult for me to walk. But after the prayer, immediately, I just I didn't know what came over me. I was losing the bandage from my leg, and suddenly I was walking normal. And I just came to appreciate God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless Praise the Lord. My names are originally in Faway. I was feeling back pain and waist pain about three years ago. When I came to this, when I come to this crusade, the man of God was praying. Say, any place we get problem, make we put our hands for it. I put my hands for it. Yeah, I rub my back. I put my hand for the waist, and they rub my back. After the prayer, the pain, I, I know the feel sick. See me now. See me. Put your hand together the for pain Jesus. Gone. It, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we rise up to worship the Lord for what God has done? Join the chorister. <laughs> You go, you tell others what the Lord has done so that tomorrow here will be jam packed. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your colleagues of what the Lord is doing here. Let's close our eyes, open our mouth, and worship God for the great visitation, the mercy, the miracles, the manifestation of the power of God. Let's give God the glory. Let's thank Him. Let's adore Him for the great things He, do, he has done. Thank you for the man of God. Pray that God will renew his strength. Tomorrow, it will be wonderful. And remember the minister's conference in the morning tomorrow. Let's pray for it. By 8 a.m. at KFT Place, that God will also visit us. Shall we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and praise for what you've done today. You manifested your power and presence. Lord, thank you for those you saved, those you healed, those you delivered, and we pray that the miracles you've given to your children will be permanent in Jesus' name. As they're going, your power will be working in their lives. By tomorrow, some of them will discover what you have done, and they will come and share testimony. Lord God, we thank you for your servant. Thank you for your grace upon his life. Thank you for the way you used him mightily tonight. Lord, we pray, replace everything that he has lost. Renew him. Refresh him. And Lord God, speak to him more concerning your children so that tomorrow morning during the minister's conference, the ministers will get what they need to run and do the work. The anointing that will break the yoke will be made manifest tomorrow in Jesus' name. And tomorrow evening, Lord God, you also honor your name. We thank you for the weather. We thank you for everything. Lord, receive our praise and worship. For in Jesus' name, we've prayed.
If believe God has answered your prayer, shout the loudest, Amen.